Hey everybody, um, it is the 27th, Monday the 27th of April. Um, it's, uh, I've, I always say this at the beginning of the last couple of videos, but I need to, like, never blog anymore. Um, but I want to, I want to keep up with things a bit better, and since I never write on my live journal anymore, this, you know, can be a bit better outlet for that, I guess. Um, school is schooling. <laughs> Um, I'm actually studying for um, some oral practical exams and a final exam that I have in general pathology uh, this week. Some of my textbooks are really kind of awesome looking though. My roommate has my really awesome one with like all the great pictures and stuff, but this one just looks sexy. <laughs> it's for my therapeutic exercise class and then I have one on, um... oh I have my pathology one that has some gross pictures in it. Hang on, I'll find a really gross picture. Because I know everybody wants to see that. Um, that's something gross I can show you. Oh, yeah, um, well, no, I won't show that because that could be kind of triggering for some people. Um, yeah, just give me a sec. Because <laughs> I just thought of this. Oh, this is a tumor. <laughs> yeah, it's got teeth and hair and stuff. Yep. Um, yeah. Just like an introduction, because um, as an RMT, we have to... For our board exams at the end, we... Like, we don't diagnose in practice whatsoever. Um, but we have to in our boards. Like, we're given uh, a client that has... Um, they tell us what their symptoms and stuff are, and we have to correctly identify what pathology they have. Um, I'm also studying for manual skills or learning trigger points and stuff, and I have these, like, really big textbooks that look really great on a shelf. And then, um, this other one that I have from first term, oh, well, you use it all the time, it's, uh, the Netter Atlas of Human Anatomy. It's got amazing pictures in it. Um, yeah, but other than that, I mean... I just have to stay on top of, um, I have to do like a personal mission statement, I have to, uh, there's a couple other projects I have to do before the end of term. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this on my last vlog or not, so I'll mention again. If I haven't, I'm probably going to go watch my other vlog before I post this one now. Um, so there's this thing, uh, that I knew was going on in Alberta when I still lived there, it's called Camp Firefly. It's, um, it's like, uh, kind of like a summer camp slash retreat for, like, queer and trans youth, from, like, 14 to 25, I think the ages are. Um, and I never had the chance to get into it, and I remember a friend of mine mentioning about how, uh, he wants to be a counselor and everything for it, and asked me if I wanted to do it, but because I'm still in the school, or still in school during the summer, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it. Um, but I got an email from them because I told them to put me on the list and it turns out it falls exactly on when I have my time in between my semesters, which is only like two weeks, not even. Um, and if, if you're over 18, you can be like a youth counselor, but if you're over 25, like myself, uh, you can be like an adult mentor or I think that's what the name of it is. So you like help the youth counselors and that's something I've always wanted to do. I don't really have a lot of experience, like formal experience in it um but this kind of stuff wasn't around when I was a kid and I just think it would be really amazing especially since I I feel like I kind of got my shit together now like you know like I've been on T for um over a year now like I'm going to school I'm out to everybody in my school um and just kind of trying to like navigate my life as a guy I don't know I just I hope that I can at least help I know it sounds cheesy as hell but I don't care um I just want to be able to like at least help one person or like because being queer and or trans when you're a kid is really fucking tough like I couldn't even imagine like I came out as trans when I was what like 26 25 yeah 25 um, so, like, I can't even imagine what, what it's gotta be like when you're, like, 
16. Um, but I do know what it's like to be queer at that age um, and not coming out. So, like, it's just kind of a place for these kids to um, be themselves and not have to worry about judgment. And um, if there's anybody that watches my videos that's, like, in the Vancouver area and possibly might want to help out and doesn't have information, uh, just send me a message and I'll pass on some info for you. Or you can just Google it, um, I think. It's Firefly, like, F-Y-R-E-F-L-Y. Um, and it's being held on, like, one of the Gulf Islands for, like, I think it's July 3rd to 5th or something. Anyways, so that's school. Or, pff, sorry. That's school and possibly what I'm doing uh, on my break. Um, I'm also a few weeks away from going to the Sasquatch Festival just outside Seattle, which I'm super stoked for, even though I'm really trying to be good with my money because um, I don't have a hell of a lot of it. I've um, been spending more time with uh, amazing boy that I kind of made mention to on my uh, last video. Oh my god. I could gush profusely. <laughs> um, but I won't. I, I, I don't want to be completely disgusting. Well, oh, let's be honest, I'm always disgusting when I talk about him. But um, things are just going really well and I feel uh, I feel good about just things like some some stuff has come up about um just like how I process things and I'm I don't know it's just interesting I I, I really try and take everything as um a learning experience um and I've also like made dates with a couple other people and just that kind of social aspect of my life is going really well, even though I wouldn't call some of my relationships just social. Sorry, I'm just thinking about the wording of that. I just didn't like how it is, because it's, there's more emotion than just being social. Anyway, um, I also went to the, uh, Poetry Slam, the Vancouver Poetry Slam finals, uh, was it last week? And it was really, really good. The, uh, I'm actually going to try and find some of his stuff. If I can find this particular poem, I'm totally going to put a link to it. Um, his name's Tra Shane Quaisan, and um, he did this poem about bullying that totally made me cry. And he was a really nice guy. <laughs> I met this girl online that, like, didn't have anybody to sit with, so we said so we were, like, going to be on a date and whatever. And we had a couple beers, and she was, uh, she's like, oh my god, Shane Quaisan, like, she's got pictures of him, like, on her wall and stuff. And we go out, and he's, like, right there, which is not really a big coincidence because I mean you know it's from Vancouver anyway it was really rad um I'm also going to the island with Matt in a couple weeks and just got you know things are just things are thanks I mean things are going um still got school for <laughs> the next year and a half so I can't even think about surgery even though I think about it all the time but um I'm feeling generally all in all. I'm feeling good. And that's what matters, right? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to get back into watching vlogs and get reconnected kind of with um, the community because I post vlogs and then I try and watch other people's, but sometimes I fail. So um, yeah, I guess I should get back to studying and watching Sex in the City at the same time because that's what I'm doing, yep. And I don't care. <laughs> okay. I hope everybody's doing well. Bye.